mother. They see you as a saint, revered as a soulful soldier for the dispossessed, a goddess seeking solitude for Jesus, for Calcutta, for the Vatican, and for the illest of the ill. They tell me you are what it means to be an angel, worthy of respect and admiration. They call you a beautiful flower with petals of peace, love, and harmony. Bull fucking shit! Mother Teresa, I know the truth. You are a brute and a liar, a charlatan and a fake, a witch worthy of hanging in my garage for the purpose of punching a small mother faced facade with millions of pounds and donations. Ask anyone with a brain and they'll tell you the same. Ask the small, shriveled, and suffering, writhing with pain in damp, soggy missionaries who died and felt like their bodies were being chewed on by lions, who died with maligned and moldy limbs on beds of broken needles, who died wrapped in blankets of promises under crooked, rusty halos, who got New Testament paper cuts too big for bandages, so they called it stigmata, who savior dressed like an angel but acted like an undertaker, because praying for life is like praying for death when interlocked fingers and faith replace medicine. The HIV virus dropped sickle cell landmines every single day in oblivious bloodstreams on six different continents. Meanwhile, Margaret Thatcher, Ronald Reagan, and a nun from Calcutta drew blueprints of how to rid the world of condoms. So show me a psalm with a cure for AIDS, and I'll show you children lost in caskets searching for heaven. Mother Teresa, you were not a worldly woman worthy of the Nobel Prize. You were a spokesperson for the world's oldest pyramid scheme at the top. Old men making millions, stealing wounds, cutting off hungry hands, and replacing them with wooden crucifixes full of splinters. Mother Teresa, your hands are bloody, but they are no more bloody than the hands of God. See, God's hands? God's hands are bigger, and plant imaginary flowers in every culture and every country, in the backyards of ministers and mullahs, in Tehran and Tel Aviv, but on the forehead of Mother Teresa, God planted a Venus flytrap and called it a rose. You can call me blasphemous all you like, but don't you dare call me a liar, because I'm not the one who strangled children with promises and prophecies that I couldn't keep.